No, it's going. Oh, it's going? Okay. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. It is now 2021, and I wanted to show you some of my favorite items. Yeah, without further ado, let's get started. So, I use a non-Apple laptop, but once my brother came to Dallas, I showed this in the uh, 13th day of Vlogmas, he gave me these. This is the Apple Magic Keyboard and Magic Mouse. As, like I said, a laptop user, I used to think that like I didn't need a separate keyboard and mouse, but now that I have it, it's actually really helpful. And for me, it's a 10 out of 10, but there are some things that I would like to point out when it comes to these two products. So whenever you're thinking about buying the mouse, let me help you out here. Pros, it has a great noise. It's very satisfying and I think it travels very well. Charges lightning, so if you have other Apple devices, both of these do charge with lightning, which is a big pro. You don't have to go and buy like batteries or like another charger. Also, some cons. Uh, it doesn't have the best design. Uh, it's not the most ergonomic, so if you're using it for a long period of time, it can like give you body aches. Also, if you use this mouse on a PC, you can't scroll. I went to all the mouse settings. I could not find out how to scroll. Whenever you think about it, this is something that's very important on a mouse. A lot of people would like to scroll. So those are like the two biggest things on here. It is actually $80. That's very expensive for a mouse. I know that you can get like a non-Apple mouse on Amazon for like $10. But again, wireless, it's Apple, charges with lightning. Overall, if you're like me and you don't mind the lack of scrolling on a PC, if you're on Mac, of course it'll scroll. But if you are like me on a PC and you don't mind the scrolling, or if you're not using this for a really long time, then I think this is a good mouse. 10 out of 10 would recommend for people who are willing to look past those two big things. All right, now for the cons for the keyboard. Um, there's no number pad, so the only number options that you have are the top row. Other than that, also 10 out of 10 would recommend if, you know, you don't mind like the hefty price tag and some key skipping every once in a while. All right, the next item I actually can't show you, but it's because I'm filming on it. It is the Joby tripod. I also did an unboxing. I will put it in one of these corners. Still to this day, do not know what corner it is. I used it for, I mean, all of my videos except for the first one. I love it. Vlogmas would not have been possible without it. This, uh, once you wear it down a little bit, the lock thing, will start sliding. If you are filming on your phone, 10 out of 10 would recommend the Joby HandyPod tripod. All right, next is this, my iPad, in combination with LumaFusion. LumaFusion is the new editing software that I use. I know that whenever I used to edit on iMovie, I thought I was perfect at editing. I feel like my editing has gotten so much better. Like if you compare, day 13 and onwards of vlogmas to any video before that uh there is a bit of a learning curve and there are some things that just aren't as simple as they are on iMovie i think it's definitely worth the purchase um because you know i used it every day for about 12 days and now i use it for every single one of my videos ever since i got lumafusion i haven't turned back and I haven't opened iMovie since then. All right, the next thing is my Christmas present. I know you're probably like, oh, this video is like two weeks into January and you are already talking about your Christmas gift for 2020 favorites. Yeah, my Switch. I love this Switch. I have the Animal Crossing's New Horizons Switch. It is so beautiful. Um, I also have 
the Animal Crossing case and I also have like actual Animal Crossing. All right, last but not least, this is probably really weird, but Taylor Swift. Her music hits different in quarantine. Um, I have three favorite albums of 2020, Folklore, Positions, and Evermore. Theories that like she's releasing a third album called Woodville soon. What? I cannot comprehend. All right, so that is my uh, 2020. All right, so that is all for today's video. This was my 2020 favorites. Um, I will have links to everything down below if you would like to check it out. Um, all of these, again, 10 out of 10, would recommend all of these, which is why they are my favorites. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to like, subscribe, comment down below what you thought of the video and what was your number one item in 2020. Goodbye. Thank you.